In related news this evening, not interested. The former holder of the ankle monitor contract from 2010 to 2016, the first company to have the agreement, is offering his expertise to the current holder, while also explaining why he's not interested in picking up where he left off. Cleopatra Murphy has the story. CS of the Bahamas Limited group of companies, Stephen Greenslade, says he does not want another chance at the electronic ankle monitoring contract, describing his relationship with government as cumbersome at best when his company held the contract. I don't look forward to it, going through that bit with a government system again. So I, while I support electronic monitoring as a tool to help to address a number of issues that we have in our system, um, I'm not interested in taking on that service, not for the government. I'll do it as a private operator, and we have the capability to do that. His comment comes as Metro Security Solutions faces intense scrutiny, and officials say it could even lose the contract amid complaints that individuals out on bail have not only been removing their monitors, but are also committing additional offenses while under surveillance. In fact, police confirmed the suspect involved in the country's latest murder on Harbor Island was being monitored. Greenslade says his company faced many of the same challenges the current contract holder is facing, and while ankle monitoring was new at the time, ICS made the necessary adjustments to better surveil offenders. It was new at that point in time, and so the, the offender behavior, but as they manifested, we were able to uh, make changes to our approach to, that, to, to it. Uh, we were able to increase software. Uh, capabilities. We also increase hardware capabilities, meaning for one in instance we went from a cuff, regular cuff, to what we call a tough cuff. The company chairman says Metro Security should do what it needs to to improve surveillance and stay in the fight, suggesting the issue should not have been so publicly discussed. The government found discrepancies with the service. Um, I think that should have been addressed with the service provider um, and working collaboratively with them to improve on the deficiencies or if there were any deficiencies or missed opportunities to improve on it. But that program requires consistent and very uh, robust collaboration between all agencies and WAF and very tight communication. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy. Hello everyone, I'm Fern Carey. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things said and asked.